The most common question we hear as Tesla owners, how long does it take to supercharge on a road trip? We're gonna find out next. Okay, to start, here are the particulars. We are currently at 18% on the battery. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive up and down the highway and get this thing down to 5% if I can. I'm gonna turn up the heat, uh, warm up the battery by preconditioning. So we're gonna uh, navigate to our local supercharger and that way uh, it will precondition and get the battery nice and warm. So I think over this next 18%, um, we're gonna get that battery nice and toasty and ready to supercharge no matter where I go. Uh, so I'm gonna drive up and down the highway uh, at speed, uh, trying to warm up the battery, trying to reduce the, uh, the percentage on the battery, wear it down a little bit, and uh, hopefully I'll get to the supercharger with about 5%. I want to charge from five to say 65%. That's the sweet spot I am hearing and seeing and experiencing on road trips. That is the sweet spot for the fastest charging. You wanna uh, head into a supercharger at a low state of charge, take advantage of the faster charging curve from five to around 65%. Some people go lower, some people go higher. Obviously depends on your next supercharger visit. Don't run out because you stop at 65 and you needed 70 or whatever. Uh, so your, your situation may uh, vary. So that's the test that I'm gonna do today. Uh, I'm gonna get everything nice and warm. Hopefully head into the supercharger at about 5% and see how long it takes to charge from 5% to 65% on a V3 supercharger. So uh, come along for the ride, won't you? Okay, quick update. We're uh, on Highway 126. We're gonna be burning off some battery. We are at 61 degrees, 16% state of charge and uh, we've got it uh, preconditioning for fast charging as well. I've also got the heater up to eight. I'm kind of hot, but uh, that's just the way it goes, I guess, for part of the test. So we're gonna get that battery warm. So the estimate suddenly dropped to uh, two percent arrival. So I turned around real quick, turned off the heat, and then it jumped back up to seven percent. So I'm going to get closer to the supercharger and then just drive around so we can get down to five percent. Turn that heat back up, and uh, we'll get that battery nice and toasty. Still preconditioning for supercharging though. 62 degrees outside. So uh, there is your latest update. Okay, pretty good update here. Looks like we are going to arrive at 5% at the Santa Clarita Superchargers. So uh, I think I've timed this out pretty well. Might be 4%, but we'll see, it's close enough. And uh, good thing is we won't run out and we will have a good baseline for this test. We have stopped preconditioning for supercharging, which means the battery is nice and toasty. We are rolling into the Santa Clarita Supercharger and I think there is a V3 available. Hey, a Tesla truck is here. Um, so I'm gonna pull into a V3, which are over here to the right. The other ones are V2s. So uh, we will see exactly what we got here. Not sure what the Tesla folks are doing here, but we'll see here in a second. And we will get everything all set up with the camera and the data. We are rolling in at 5% state of charge, which is absolutely perfect. I am pretty happy about that. And um, we'll get things going on the camera here in a second. Okay, we got the battery very low uh, indicator, so that means we're doing something right. Um, let's click out of that. Let's take a look at the battery. 5% state of charge, we are in the red. Uh, on this particular car, that's 11 miles. So let's get the camera set up and let's get charging. All right, so this is pretty awesome that we are literally uh, at here at 5% state of charge. We wanna do the 5% to 65% and see how uh, long it takes to charge. This is a 2019 uh, Model 3 SR Plus, 240 miles of EPA rated range. And so this is the smaller battery. We'll see how fast it, uh, it, it charges. Okay, we are plugged in, ready to go, ramping up. And it 
looks like we're at a 84 kilowatts right now. We are at 1026 AM, 66 degrees, 5% state of charge. Um, the preconditioning for superchargeing did uh, stop. So that tells me the battery was ready, at least according to the car. And uh, we'll just let this thing play out, see what happens. We are still ramping up, which is interesting. Um, I had the heater at full blast for about 35 minutes. We drove around from 18% down to 5%. And uh, so those are the particulars of the stats of this particular uh, run. Um, man, now we're really ramping up. It kind of hovered around 90% there, or 90 kilowatts for a little bit. And now I think we're gonna be at full state, full, full speed here, because this car can only do 170. And we are at 169, so man, I got it right. We got the uh, the battery nice and toasty. This car is maxed out at 170 kilowatts. So I think this test is gonna be pretty legit here. We're gonna have to set the limit here. Move that to like here. Still 170 on this car. Now we have a Model Y on order. Of course, we'll be doing this test again um, oop, just heard a battery uh, knock. We'll be doing this test again with the uh, the 250 uh, speeds. But for right now, oh, that's why we were at uh, hovering around 90%. I heard or read that it doesn't really kick in until about 10 or 11%. So we were below that and it was around 90 kilowatts. And then as soon as that kicked in, around 10%, I think it was, um, it started maxing out. Now we're at 170 and we'll keep an eye on this here. Oop, another battery knock. Let me move the camera here just a bit. There we go. So, so far it's saying uh, 20 minutes, at least until the uh, the set limit there. I'm not sure if that's 65% or not, but we'll keep an eye on it. We're at 15%. We started at five and um, we've added five uh, kilowatts. So, uh, so far so good. This is uh, turning out to be a pretty good test, especially at 66 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. AC fans just kicked in and another battery knock. So I think we got a combination of the battery trying to, to get warm or, or stay warm or, or stay cool, I guess, at this point, because it's supercharging. But the, I guess the metal around the battery is probably knocking and stuff. So you guys can tell me down in the comments, those uh, scientists. So there is a Tesla energy uh, truck here and there are two spots coned off, but I don't see anybody actively working on them. Three, three spots coned off, four. And he's actually, you know, icing a spot with his Ford Transit Connect truck. But at any rate, we are in the, uh, the V3 stall and we are still rocking at 165 kilowatts, dropped off a little bit. Oh, another battery knock. I find that interesting. So we're just here trying to, um, See how long it takes to charge from 5% to 65%. And again, the reasoning behind that is when you're on a road trip, you don't want to charge to 100%. That last 20%, even 30%, takes a lot longer to charge. And if you can get to the next supercharger on 65%, it's going to make a much faster road trip to live in that 5 to 65 range and just what we call supercharger hop from charger to charger rather than waiting to uh, do a, a full charge. Remember, this isn't a gas tank, folks. You don't you know, pull up to a service station and fill it up. Um, it, this is a little bit different world and you kind of bend to those rules and uh, things work out better. Now, us on road trips, because I have a family with two kids and a wife, um, every time we, we are on a road trip and we stop to supercharge, the car is waiting for us. So I would love to say, yeah, we live in that five to 65 range, but a lot of times, you know, it's going to 75, 80, just because, you know, we're getting snacks, going to the bathroom, having lunch, whatever. The car is always waiting for us. But if I were alone and doing a, a quick, you know, road trip to Vegas, for instance, um, I would certainly live in that five to 65% range and uh, just supercharge or hop to get to the next one. And uh, it's living a little dangerously. I know 5% makes some people uneasy, um, but the nav is pretty darned accurate. Um, I would trust the nav. Um, Give yourself a 5% buffer if, if it makes you uncomfortable. Make it 10 to 70 or whatever. But at, at any rate, you really just don't want to 
charge to 100% because it is painful to watch. It's like watching uh, uh, water boil. Um, and you just don't need it. If you can get, I mean, especially with the supercharger network growing on a daily basis, I mean, it's crazy these days how fast it's, it's growing. Um, they're supposed to double it in the next year. There's really no reason to be waiting around uh, for 100%. Okay, so you can see how it uh, it went from 90 kilowatts, um, and then after 10 or 11 percent, it shot up to 170 kilowatts, which is the max on this car. And now we're starting to uh, drop off a little bit. We're at 125 kilowatts, 24, um, but still still going at a decent clip here. The uh, the AC fans are running up front. I can hear those. We've added 15 kilowatt hours. Sorry about that, the uh, phone call killed the video. We didn't miss much though. So when, uh, when Tesla owners brag about uh, their speed, you know, 170 kilowatts or 250 kilowatts, and what they don't say is it drops off pretty quick. Um, and then it sustains for, you know, between 100 and 125 or so and then it drops off even more so you're really only at that peak uh charging rate for i don't know maybe 10 percent um which is great you know but then it drops off like a rock it's called a charging curve and every tesla is different every ev is different um just depends on which model you have okay we're at 50 percent uh, 15% to go, and we'll see where uh, everything shakes down after that. And we have dropped to uh, 83 kilowatts. We're at the 10.36 a.m., 66 degrees still outside. Uh, no more ba battery knocks, but the fans are still running, I'd say, medium speed. They have slowed down a little bit. Um, and we'll keep an eye on it. We got 14% uh, to go. And, um, oh, there's a Porsche Taycan coming in. Not sure why, <laughs> but there is. Oh, there's a DC fast charger in the same uh, parking lot, an EV go. That's probably what the, where they're going. All right, with about 10% uh, to go, we are down to 73, 74 kilowatts. In terms of speed, we've added 23 kilowatt hours and um, so that's where we got about eight minutes to go, but that's based on the line I have set there. I don't think I got it exactly at 65% though. So uh, pretty quick uh, test here, actually. Okay, at 60, 60%, we are at 68, 67 kilowatts on terms of our charging speed, added 26 kilowatt hours. Um, and we are 4% away from uh, knowing the answer to how fast does it uh, charge? How fast does a Tesla charge from five to 65%? And then we'll do a little recap. Okay, we're coming up on 65%. We are at 1042 AM, 66 degrees, 62, uh, 61 kilowatt hours. Uh, I'm sorry, 28 kilowatt hours added, 61 kilowatts. We are now at 65%. I'm gonna go unplug. Okay, so we've got the uh, details there on the screen. Uh, we'll do a recap here in a second. I think we had a successful uh, charging test here. We had a battery that was warm. We wore it down to 5% to start. Um, we know the preconditioning stopped, which means the Tesla thought the battery was warm enough to, to supercharge. We used a V3 supercharger. We got to max speed on the car. So I think all those conditions were ideal to say uh, how we arrived at the number of 16 minutes is how fast a Tesla Model 3 from 2019 SR Plus, uh, 240 miles rated range, so the smaller battery, uh, to go from 5% to 65%. The number is 16 minutes, at least in this particular test under these particular conditions, which 
all the numbers seem to line up and, and seem to be ideal. So uh, what do you think? I, is that fast enough on a, uh, on a road trip? Um, I think it is, because usually, again, the car is waiting for us by the time um, we are ready to leave again. So 16 minutes is that, uh, that, that number that everybody wants to know. How fast does your Tesla charge on a road trip at a supercharger? Um, and honestly, for the for this particular model, I don't even need the V3s unless it's sharing. The nice thing about the, the V3s is you can pull up next to anybody you want. It's not sharing next to each, each other. If you, you pull into a V2 and you pull into someone next to you, they are sharing and then people get mad and all this other stuff. So there's a whole Tesla thing about that. Um, so anyway, that's why I wanted to do the test on the V3 because it didn't matter uh, at all uh, that there were uh, other Teslas charging. So what do you think of the test? I think this was a pretty good ideal test for this car under these conditions. And uh, I really appreciate you hanging on and watching the paint dry because I know watching a battery uh, uh, go go across the screen is not exactly exciting, but uh, I totally appreciate you hanging with us. And uh, if you like what you see here at Tesla Tips and Trips, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you like us that much, and uh, we will be pumping out more videos as uh, topics come to my mind. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we will catch you on the next video.